Taste and Fine. Brought to you by. Welcome to Taste in Five. I'm Linda Hadid, and today we're going to make Arabic bread, a recipe from Ahlan, the cookbook of the Syrian Lebanese Women's Association. So, here we have seven cups of sifted flour, to which I'm going to add salt, to one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of yeast half a teaspoon of sugar and a little bit of butter. Now your hand goes in. You've got to get the butter. The flour has to absorb the butter and then you make a well in the middle and you start adding lukewarm water. Drawing in the flour as you go along. So you keep kneading until it comes together. Um, you want it to be pliable but not sticky. So you just have to put some energy into it and knead it till it comes to a ball and looks smooth. When it more or less forms a ball, you can just sprinkle a little flour just to make it smooth. Just make sure it's not stiff. Turn it over, smooth side up. I'm just going to put a piece of plastic wrap over it, covered with a cloth, left in a warm place, an hour, hour and a half if you want. All right, here's our flour. The dough has raised to double its size. Let's flour our surface. And I have some flour side for dipping your hands. Now this has to be kneaded again in your hand by drawing the ends together into a ball till it's smooth. This is the second kneading. Then it's going to rest. I'm going to leave some of the dough so I can show you how to do the herb bread as well. Before I do the herb bread, I'm going to dip my hands in some butter nice rich butter and coat the Arabic bread. We've got to let this rest for 15 minutes. All right, so we're, we're doing small rolls which we're going to make into the herb bread. So same thing as the big one, we knead it again, bring it together into a little ball. Just put this aside to rest for 15 minutes while we open these. Here we are. Now this has to take its time another hour and into the oven, but the baking is actually only 10 minutes. So while this is resting, I'm gonna mix the herb mixture, the zata. This is zata, dry thyme it's, it is actually, and this is going into it, cement mixed together with oil, ordinary corn oil. Totally absorbs the oil. Becomes a nice thick paste. And by now I think our dough has rested so we'll flatten them and put the paste on. So we just leave these and an hour's time, we'll put them in the oven. So here we are, the finished product, herb bread and Arabic bread, all ready to be eaten. So let's break bread together. Taste and Fine, brought to you by 